use the exclusive tools to draw out the fuel injection valve from the cylinder head. Be sure to make checks and preparations before the maintenance. It starts from removing the clamp bolts of the injection pipe joint. Loosen the cap nut of the injection pipe and remove it together with the injection pipe. Then, remove the tightening nuts of the fuel injection valve. Attach the draw out tool body by screwing it into the fuel injection valve bridge. Screw in the nut and draw out the fuel injection valve. Do not fail to draw out the case nut packing. After removing the fuel injection valve from cylinder head, clean the internal face of the injection valve sleeve in the cylinder head. Insert a nylon brush into the inside of the sleeve and turn it by hand while moving it up and down. Finally, put a spotlight on the cleaned area to check if it is spotless. Here I explain the procedure of spray test and injection pressure adjustment conducted before and after the disassembly and cleaning of the drawn out fuel injection valve. Prepare the exclusive tools for spray test. Firstly, attach the test injection pipe and fuel injection valve to the nozzle tester. At this time, set the fuel injection valve to the downward direction. Operate the test handle with fast-paced action to check the state of the nozzle injection pressure and spray. When adjusting injection pressure, regulate the screw in of the pressure adjusting nut while slowly moving the tester lever and adjust it to the specified pressure. After the adjustment, operate the test handle with a fast paced action like I explained earlier and check the state of the nozzle spray. If an injection orifice is clogged or the fuel is sprayed into sticks, renew the part. After finishing the injection test and injection pressure adjustment, tighten the lock nut with the exclusive single-ended wrench. At this time, fix the pressure adjusting nut to prevent it from turning together. If the nozzle needs to be exchanged, remove the case nut after completely loosening the pressure adjusting nut. Loosening the case nut while the injection pressure is high may cause damage to the mated surface between nozzle and spacer or the parallel pin. Firstly, clean the carbon deposited on the exterior portion of the nozzle. If the amount of the carbon deposit is large, remove the extraneous matter by soaking the nozzle in the carbon remover or in the undiluted solution of Cresol. Proceed to the disassembly after eliminating the carbon. 
Use the exclusive tools for the disassembly and cleaning of fuel injection valve. Remove the fuel injection valve guard and disassemble the fuel injection valve in numerical order shown in the figure. Firstly, loosen fuel injection pressure adjusting nut. Secondly, remove the nozzle case nut to remove the nozzle assembly. It is now possible to remove the spacer, spring sheet and spring hold from the fuel valve body. Handle the disassembled parts with care not to damage them and also clean them with washing oil. After the cleaning, check the nozzles for corrosion or the seized valves. Also, check for worn springs or damaged spacers. We recommend that you maintain the spare parts, keeping in mind that an average service life of a nozzle assembly is 2,000 to 3,000 hours. In reassembling, Renew the case nut packing and the O-ring of fuel injection valve body. Reassemble the fuel injection valve in reverse order for disassembly. In reassembling, be careful not to mix up the fixing position and direction of spring sheet and of spring hold. And be sure to tighten the injection pressure adjusting nut only after tightening the nozzle case nut. Be sure to use the exclusive socket for the case nut and tighten it up to the specified torque. After the reassembly, conduct the spray test again to check for the spray condition and any oil leakage from the valve or spacer. If there is nothing wrong, mount it on the cylinder head. Set the case nut packing in the injection valve sleeve with the plain surface side down. After applying the grease on the O-ring of fuel injection valve body, confirm the direction of the injection pipe attachment hole for the fuel injection valve, and then set the fuel injection valve in the sleeve. Temporarily tighten the attaching nuts of fuel injection valve up to the specified torque and loosen them once. Fix the injection pipe sleeve, 
insert the injection pipe. Internatally tighten the injection valve attachment nuts and the injection pipe joint bolts until the specified torque is reached. This completes the work. Just after the maintenance of fuel injection valve, check oil leakage from the leakage pipe while the engine is running. 